Multiple candidates who are running for the city council seat in District 5 volunteered their time yesterday morning with the East 72nd Street Neighborhood Association's second ever Love Your Neighborhood Day, where about 50 volunteers also volunteered their time to pick up trash and to clean up the neighborhood. Here are some of the candidates on camera. Look, this is my home. Um, I live right here on 72nd Street uh, in between 1st and York. My son, has, this is the only home that he's ever known, so it's very personal for us. I've been a proud member of the 72nd Street Neighborhood Association for years, and we're really excited about um, how many people are coming out to help us clean up our neighborhood. Very, I was here for their first one in the fall, and it was such a success being out on the Esplanade, talking to our neighbors, handing out PPE. Now today here to go help and clean. This is what community cares about. This is what makes our community so great. We come together, we fight for what we care about, and today it's about making sure we have a clean neighborhood with nice streets and safe Esplanade. It's really important. You know, I'm running for city council because community is most important. Coming together to serve others, to clean our streets is incredibly important. But I think it also reveals how important sanitation policy is. Trash on the street is one of the most important things. I always think about that quote from Mayor LaGuardia. There's no democratic or republican way of cleaning the streets. I love that quote. And we really need a sanitation policy as a city. And until then, we're relying so much on the generosity of nonprofits and our neighbors to keep our neighborhood clean. It could not be more important. And th thanks very much for asking. It's, I mean, it's very important. The neighborhood is, is, is where we live. You, know, you, you don't get more local than your own neighborhood. And if you don't have a clean neighborhood, uh, you know, you could almost go back to the broken windows theory that you see, you know, a pile of dirt somewhere, a pile of rubbish somewhere. It, it just snowballs after that. People have no respect for their neighborhood, they, or, you know, they, they lose respect. It's just, it's just not a pleasant way to be. It's, it's such a small, simple thing to do to help keep, keep the streets clean that there's, there's really no excuse not to. It's basic. I think it's incredibly important for anybody who's running for office to be an active part of their communities. And one of the least things we can do is to join in these local cleanup efforts and local beautification efforts and ensure that we're helping fill some of the gaps. Because as we know, the local government isn't you know, necessarily doing its job when it comes to sanitation. So what do we do? We grab some of these and we head out in the streets. It's so important to be here today for the yeah, East 72nd Street Association cleanup. We have to remember that the city council last year and, and the mayor, the budget cut over a hundred million dollars from sanitation. And so this is really a message loud and clear saying communities now are taking charge. We have to say to the mayor, this year you've got to restore these cuts to sanitation. Over a hundred million dollar cut, it's unacceptable. There were cuts to composting, cuts to recycling, and now it's up to community groups that are so fantastic, like the East 72nd Street Association. We're here today to clean up the streets. We're here today to do the job that, quite frankly, the city should be doing. But it's now being left to community groups to take this over. Mark Boosnitz reporting along the East 72nd Street corridor for Tap Into.